In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this screen shake effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere, you've got a brand new sequence created and you've got some footage imported. We're first going to begin by going over into effects. So this is the effects tab over here and we'll search for transform. Now transform should be under the distort folder. And once you've found that, you just want to drop that onto your footage. So as you can see, we've got transform over here in the effects controls window. If for some reason you aren't seeing the effect controls window, just go over to window and make sure effect controls is selected. So as you can see, make sure you can see that tick. Now from here, you just want to go ahead, scroll to the point in your footage where you want this effect to begin. So we'll do it around the one second mark. Then you just want to create a brand new keyframe on scale and create a brand new keyframe on rotation. Now from here, you just want to play this and at the point where you want the rotation effect to stop, the shaking effect to stop, you want to create another keyframe on rotation and on scale. Now we'll go to the middle of those keyframes. We'll increase the scale up to 110. And then we'll go back to the beginning at these first set of keyframes. Now we'll go two keyframes to the right. So two frames to the right and we'll change the rotation to two. In fact, no, we'll change that to one. Then we'll go two frames to the right again and we'll change this to a negative one. Another two frames to the right, we'll change this to 1.3. Two frames to the right, we'll change this to a negative 1.3. Another two frames to the right and we're going for 1.7. Another two frames to the right, we'll go negative 1.7. Two frames to the right, we'll go for two. Two frames to the right, negative two. And then we can start working our way back down again. So we're gonna go 1.4, two frames to the right, negative 1.2. Two frames to the right, we'll go 0.6, two frames to the right, negative 0.4, and then we're back to zero. So as you can see, if we play this back, we've got this rotation effect happening. So you just want to play this back and make sure that you can't see the edges of the video appearing. There you go. You can see it in this example here, just in this top right corner and the bottom left corner, you can see the black video behind, which isn't great. So in order to prevent that, we're just going to make a copy of this. So we'll hold option on the keyboard and drag that video up onto video layer two, or alternatively, you can just copy and paste that. So we'll go command C, control C, and just drag that over, Command V, Control V. And then we'll just delete the transform effect from this layer. And then you just want to make sure, you just want to swap those over. So transform, the one with the effect is on the top layer and the one without the effect is on the bottom layer. And there you go, we can no longer see that behind because essentially we've got this video with no effects appearing behind. So we're just seeing the top of the sky appearing just over here. So that's just helping to blend the effect. Now, of course, we can speed this effect up if we wanted to. So we can just delete some of those keyframes and then we'll just squash everything closer together. So when we play this back, that's much quicker. Or of course you can add more keyframes in to make this longer. It's completely up to you. But from here, we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to add the motion blur to this effect. So we'll go down to use composition shutter angle. We'll turn that off and we'll pull the shutter angle up to 360. And as you can see, if I scrub through this frame by frame, you can see all of this motion blur applied to the edges. And of course, if you wanted to, you could add a speed ramp to this effect to make this even more intense. So at the beginning, like maybe one or two frames before, we'll press C on the keyboard to load up the cut tool. Or if that's not working, just select this icon here, the razor tool. Then we'll go back to the normal cursor. So select V, we'll go to that last keyframe, go right a few frames, press C again, and we've got this middle bit here. Now we'll right click, go up to speed slash duration. We'll increase the speed to 140, and then we'll close this gap. So as you can see, that's made that really quick. And of course, any motion that is happening 
in that video. Mine is a static, so you won't really see much difference. But if you've got motion happening there, then it's going to add a little speed ramp effect to the rotation effect. And it's going to add that extra level of awesome onto the effect. And there you go. That is the screen shake effect now complete inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.